and welcome beloveds this is another video <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna keep this as well i was like oh no i've laughed and gosh okay loud messing up is allowed messing up is so allowed oh my gosh we don't have to get it all perfect we don't have to get it all perfect we just do whatever we do right oh what am i talking about okay so i did come here with which was making it was about making a contribution oh, I think I want to say that definitely oh my gosh I feel really giggly now I have done I've done so few videos already and um and I'm trying to get it perfect so this is my least perfect but most perfect one because it's so imperfect which makes me I'm perfect okay <sighs> okay <laughs> okay this is about laughing right now then okay okay so i can just hear the angels saying yeah this is about like lightening up so i wanted to do this thing about what is our contribution to the world and um and they're saying like stop making it so serious like yeah it, yeah, stop making it so serious. <sighs> okay, that feels a bit lighter. So. <laughs> oh dear. I can make a whole bleepers video. Just be giggling. <sighs> okay, this is my contribution right now. It's like, I think I'm not making a contribution to the world because I don't have a successful company. I'm not earning big money. I am. I don't have a brand. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have all these things that all these other people are telling me that I should have and I could have to be successful. And so it's like, what makes me successful? What makes me? What what shows me that I'm contributing to the world? Um, yeah, so I just really was starting to look last night at what does it mean to be contributing? What does that look like? There's so much, I have put so much pressure on myself to be a successful entrepreneur. And I'm not really trying to be, so I'm not really doing that. But I'm giving myself a really hard time for not doing it. So um, I'm being invited to really look at this differently and to really see what is my contribution? When am I making the biggest contribution? What is it I'm contributing to? What am I trying to, what am I trying to contribute to? So first of all, for me, what I'm trying to contribute to, what, what makes me feel alive and happy is when I am contributing to the shifting consciousness of this planet or of humanity. And what I realized last night is when I'm in that place of like, I haven't made a successful business, I don't have coaching programs, I don't have this, I don't have that, kind of what I think maybe I should be doing. Like, because I love sharing wisdom, I love, I love doing this, this is just fun, this feels good. And I love it when I'm in one-to-one -one sessions with people and, and it's just flowing and I feel in that flow of spirit, I love it. So I wanna be doing more of that. And really, I'm doing that when I'm in my heart centre. So I'm really contributing when I'm in my heart centre. I'm contributing when I'm feeling joy. I'm contributing when I'm in a good place. So, um, where am I getting with this? Yeah, I kind of, I think I just wanted to get serious for a minute. I think I've seen a couple of posts recently from people. Oh wow, I feel quite sad. Like I feel this this like a deep sadness and I don't feel like it's just mine. It feels like there's this real sense of like, oh, I haven't got it right. I've got it wrong. I'm not doing it right. I'm I should be doing this thing. I should be like trying to earn a six figure income and I should have so many clients and they should be big paying clients and these are all the things that come up on my news feed on Facebook, you know, it's, it's, it's about being an entrepreneur and owning your own business and that's, 
great when it's coming from the right place. All that stuff is great and beautiful and, and I still desire that on some level. I still desire many things. But what I most desire is to know that just through being, I am contributing. That feels good in my being. And that's what I just really got recently. It's just this, when I'm in my essence, when I feel alive, when I feel connected to nature, when I'm happy, that contributes to the field like we wouldn't believe. When we see those little things, those little everyday things, little interactions with people, when it comes from the heart, when we when we do kind things, when we're loving, just, just the simple everyday things, when they're done from the heart center, that is such a big contribution. When we're kind to ourselves, you know, when we've learned self-love, when we or learning, or you know, even to have the desire, that begins to contribute to the to the field, to creating this new paradigm where we're not struggling so much. So I think that's actually all I really want to share. I'm going to share in the little, um, there's a little box underneath. I'm going to share a writing that I did, I think, back in 2011 about uh, grounding your vibrational essence, really becoming and dropping into yourself, really receiving yourself, really receiving who you are. And then from that place, the doing comes from that place because it becomes joyful. It's not a should and it's not pushy and it's not hard. It's just this graceful, beautiful expression of who you are. So I will share a little bit about that below. I will just share that little bit of writing. Um, I'm just going to have a look at what I wrote today on this. Ah, oh, yeah, I think I kind of covered it really. It's really simple. You know, contributing doesn't have to be this big thing. You know, just being in your heart, having your personal experience and being as truthful as you can about who you are. And just knowing that this is an unfolding process, that, that we aren't at the end result. And, and you know, if, if you're watching this video, you're all ready, you know, on some level you're there because you're here and aligning with this and, and you're a good person and it's really receiving that and the doing will come and allowing it to come when it's ready, when you're full, when you're, when you know what it is that you want to share and I really feel, for me, I haven't been able to share until until I really drop into my essence, until I have the courage to admit who I know myself to be. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing like my angelic, like, okay, so I'm hearing like, go on, do it now then, I dare you, like, admit who you are now, here. I'm like, shit, really, on video to whoever's watching? I don't know who's gonna watch this. People I know will watch this, shit. <laughs> okay, so, I'm really connected to angels. I feel angels. I've had experiences of being angelic. Just in these sort of visions, nighttime experiences, I felt that. I've had a memory of singing creation, singing mater the material realm into creation. I feel connected to the elemental beings. I know myself as part of the elemental realm. I am spirit in matter. I am love in matter. I have come here to contribute to the new paradigm, to the new awakening, to the new earth, where I know it's about living through love and experiencing through beauty, that it doesn't have to be a struggle and it doesn't have to be hard. Even though I keep living that, I keep living that. Oh, I listened to somebody speaking today, Sophie. Um, oh my gosh, what's her name? I'm going to put a link 
below to the video that I watched this morning because it just it was like being given permission to live what I've always known to be true but I hadn't given myself permission because I kept seeing other people living in another way and I just kept trying to live like that and feeling really uncomfortable all the time but I know life is here to lovingly support us. Oh, is there anything else to add to that? I don't think so. Thank you for witnessing me in this moment. And, um, yeah, let's all really start admitting to ourselves who we are. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. I love you. I see your love and your light and your heart. <sighs> Blessings and... Have a beautiful day, have a beautiful week, have a beautiful month, have a beautiful year, have a beautiful life. <laughs>